Welcome everyone to Devo's Week Chronicles. I am Devo. Yeah. Hey, man. I haven't shot one of these in forever. And I've been pressured to do one by upstate. And it's like early here in Oklahoma. I'm on my day off, dude. Good big 4th of July thing to go to here after a while. Man, I messed up already. It ain't even known yet. I've had to do this over and over and over. I either let it go too long or because I can't send the file or I've uh, just screw up. So this is part five or six, man. I don't even know. But <clears throat> come on, Debo. Welcome to Debo's Weed Chronicles. I am the man, the myth, not the legend. Devo, welcome in, man. If you ain't ever been in here before, please hit that like button. The subscription and follow it up with the bell. That way you know when we're going to pop up, man. Believe me. We're not actors. We're actual dumbass stoners. All right? We don't act. Sorry. <clears throat> I wish I was getting paid for this shit. Oh, dang it. Edit that upstate. Today is a day that we celebrate Independence Day here in the United States. Um, I really don't care too much about that because I'm Native American. And from my point of view, a bunch of white dudes come over here and took a while of our land. But, you know, hey, got to let things go. You know what I'm saying? People need to let shit go. Oh, upstate, can you edit that? I ain't doing this again. <clears throat> Just let stuff go, okay? Hating ain't gonna bring nothing back. Hating ain't gonna change nothing. Just let it go, man. Go with the flow. <sighs> There'll be opportunities, I promise. Anywho, we celebrate by shooting off fireworks because we broke the grips of Europe and conquered America. Anyway, so let's let's shoot off fireworks and stuff like that, man. So that's just what we do. All right. Let me take you to oh, I have this friend. And he was always bringing homemade fireworks to stuff. Like we would shoot guns and stuff. He would bring some killer stuff. To, you know, always waited. If he was there, there was going to be some cool go blow. Boom. And, you know, hey. Found out later. This cat, dad, or uncle, or somebody in his family was a bomb tech in Nam. So, <laughs> he knew how to put them together, take them apart, and make them go boom. You know what I'm saying? So, one time this cat called me. And, man, we don't live very far apart. We didn't. He's gone. He, he's gone now. But he used to live right a mile and a half, man, across the river there. If I had to go to his house, it'd take me about, oh, six miles to get to him. I had to go all the way around. But just right here, man, if I had a boat, I'd be there an hour. You know, you know no, not an hour. Man, I'm telling you, I'm hiring groceries, okay? You're going to let some of this stuff slide. I ain't shooting nothing again. <laughs> Anyhow, he calls me. He goes, hey, dude, me and my son's at my dad's. And it's late. He said, hey... <laughs> He said, here a minute, look over at my way, man. Two minutes. I said, from now? He said, when you hang that phone up, in two minutes, be looking over at my way. I said, all right. Hung phone was, I said, a little D coming with me. We go outside, and we're looking. I'm sitting here smoking a joint, looking around. He's like, Dad, what are we looking for? I said, just keep your eye right over in that direction. He said, just look over that way. All of a sudden, boom. Big bright light, man, in a few, like a second, half a second later. Whoa, whoa, what in the world? Man, all of a sudden, ring, ring, ring. Hey, man, did you see it? <laughs> did I see it? My God, everybody saw that, dude. What was that? They go, I gotta go. There's somebody, oh, there's cops at the house, man, I gotta go. <laughs> you go. So, flash forward.
4th of July rolls around. We're all down there where they're setting up their fireworks, right? We're out here quite a ways from them watching them. My buddy's with me. Man, I got to get up close to that. I want to see that. Is them wires? How are they going to set that stuff off, man? I'm like, go up there, man. I'll probably let you help. He walked up there, and them guys were talking with him and everything. Well, what he told them was, he said, hey, man, I got a really big firecracker. Can I shoot that sucker off out here with y'all? And they're like, that's illegal, dude. And he goes, no, 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 no. I bought all this stuff legally. And he goes, no, 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 no. It's illegal for you to have that. He said, no, no, I built it. He said, no, it's illegal for you to build one and have one. He goes, huh? He said, well, I ain't going to have it long. I'm going to light that son of a gun tonight. You know, she, no, you can't do that. You can't do it. Boy, you know, he said, hey, what's your name? And he turned around and he walks off. Hey, hey. And he jumped in his little motorcycle. He left. I'm like, what the fuck? That night we're down there watching him. Here he comes. He got out and pick up somebody. I see him holding a bunch of stuff. And it was, Right behind where everybody was shooting off their fireworks out there in the, uh, off the bank of the uh, river, there was a big old dead tree. I mean, like the washed up. It had roots on it and everything, but no leaves or nothing. But big tree, big job cottonwood. He ran around the edge of the bridge down there where nobody could see him. Everybody was way down here by the beach. He went over there and I see him. Going, I'm like, man, is that it? What's he doing? I see him running out there like, <laughs> throwing line. Oh my God. They were doing their deal. He was sitting over and I see him over smoke cigarettes. Nobody went over there or nothing. You know, there wasn't nobody close to that area. It was almost under the bridge, kind of. They were smoking cigarettes and I said, man, you ought to walk down there. He said, hell, I ain't walking down there, man. He's got something planned. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. We better kind of move on down a little bit or something. We giggle. They started doing their, uh, what the end of it, what is that extravaganza or the, uh, you know what I'm, grand finale. About halfway, whenever that thing started going, brr, 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 he went. And then jumped and struck me left. The thing you could see, you could barely see it because it's behind the tree. And we're like, oh no. All of a sudden, man, that thing went, whoa, boom. There was wood pieces flying in the air. I mean, it, it was so much, the, the, the extravaganza was this boom. His was this boom. I mean, everybody was like, what? <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> now, they were like, man, all the guys' hats got blown off and stuff. They were standing there like, man, it was close. I mean, not really super close, but the concussion, I think, is what it was. We were in cars, in between cars, and there was lawn shirts. So we didn't, you know, we seen the dust go by, though. Big firework. Hey, man, you guys out there, <laughs> listen. <laughs> These stories happened about 30 years ago. Man, don't attempt anything you hear on here or anything I say on here or anything I do on here. That's right. I am a 3,000 milligram champ. Edibles. That's a bread. Challenge accepted. I'm doing five. But don't do what I do, man. I'm, I've been abducted by UFOs a few times. So, man, I got stuff y'all don't. Know what I mean? I'm kidding. Remember. And then tell Upstate so he can remind me. Peace, love, and weeding. Keep smoking, baby.